don't know if you could thread them in there. It looks like the threads are the same, but just as a little note. That should come right off. A lot of guys will tie these up with some zip ties and that. Um, it's kind of the way this is engineered with that ABS sensor back there. It rests on there pretty easy. I already did the other side and uh, didn't have any problem. Pull those off. In the uh, caliper, what do you call this, a carriage, I guess. The two bolts for this are identical, so when you put that back together, that those two bolts don't matter. So that's off there. And I never even hit this rotor. Nine times out of ten, you guys are going to have to hit the rotor with uh, a hammer. Um, I usually like to give them a good, uh, good kick. Let out a little frustration at the same time. And they should come right off. It doesn't come off when you kick it. Uh, don't break your foot. Just grab a hammer. I usually tap it on the outside. And uh, maybe about two spots, and they usually break right loose. Well, this one came off pretty easy. So, spray a little cleaner on there. I've already cleaned <clears throat> this rotor. Uh, one nice thing about these zinc plated rotors, one of the, one of the pluses when you assemble them, I always clean them, but there's never any dirt on them. Uh, I clean them out of habit, and uh, the darn things are always always come real clean. They usually come in a uh, sealed um, kind of a vacuum pack uh, package, and they're they're packaged up pretty nice. But uh, one thing I noticed when you buy your Rotors from uh, Advanced Auto or uh, AutoZone, any of them other places that have uncoated rotors, they will be pretty dirty, and you'll have to clean them with these zinc-plated ones. I mean, they're, like I said, you can clean them, and uh, your rag is still perfectly clean. <clears throat> One little trick I like to do before you put these back on, a lot of guys will put them on, and then they'll lube up these these uh, slides. And <clears throat> I've done it that way before, and I usually wind up getting some of the lube on the rotor. So I lube these up 